Alright, so this is going to be a love reading for you guys. I know the other one was a bunch of random different messages about everything. So I figured I'd focus this one on love for those of you that have love lives. <laughs> Not everybody has a love life, so. Um, some of you need to let go of your pride because you're not allowing love or support to come in because you're very prideful so instead of trying to take everything on by yourself and be stubborn and be like I got this I don't need help from anybody stop okay you know you don't always have to do everything by yourself hello Adele how are you you don't have to take everything on by yourself it's okay to have people help you it's okay to have support from family support from friends hello Els how are you I I've seen better days <laughs> um, so yeah if you guys are you find that you are this prideful person and you always try to take everything on by yourself and you always have this need to be right and you don't know, trust people kind of step back from it okay and allow people to help you because when you allow people to help you it takes a lot off your plate and you're not as stressed and you're not as anxious and you don't have all this shit going on in your head that stops you from thinking straight so take the pressure off okay because that'll help a lot but you have to let go of your pride okay pride is not always going to get you where you need to go it's okay to be prideful like when you're proud like hey i did this i'm proud and i have pride in my accomplishment but not the bad negative pride where you're too good to ask for help or say you need something. Don't have that kind of pride, okay? Because <clears throat> there's a relationship or something that has come to an end or will be coming to an end. Hello, Mike. How are you today? So there's something that's going to be coming to an end. Um, well, this is a relationship, so I don't know if you guys have already experienced this or not, but that's what they're saying. And it's coming to an end because there's a spiritual partnership that you're supposed to be going into. There's something more spiritual, more in alignment with you than what you currently have. And there are people that are extremely envious. And I'm in the U.S., um, there's people that are extremely envious and even deceitful around you about um, it could be the person that's coming into your life like people are aware that there's someone new coming into your life or the person that you're leaving or whatever your situation is with your ex or soon to be ex it's possible that they know that someone else is coming into your life and they're extremely envious about it and there's some type of deception that's going on whether it's financial or um something's not right so make sure you're being very careful with the people you're dealing with okay if it comes to making um signing contracts any type of agreements whatever it is make sure that you kind of are you're being aware okay don't be so caught up in everything that you don't see what the hell is happening because there's someone that's lying to you right now so whoever this is that's lying to you just be aware and they're very envious like they it's not it they don't have a reason to be jealous because it appears that they have everything that they need so they don't really need to be jealous but yet they are jealous of what you have or what you're going towards so be very careful with the people you're dealing with okay because you don't want these kinds of people around but whoever it is that you're moving towards, because again, I said it's going to bring, you're going to have a new type of relationship very aligned for you, that some of you, it could be um, like a business that's going to take off, but I'm trying to focus it more on love. But this is going to be spirits guiding you to where you need to go, okay? So whatever it is that's happening in your life right now, if all hell's breaking loose and shit's falling apart, it's happening because there's somewhere else you're meant to be and there's another person that you're meant to be with because there's things that you guys have to do together so don't look at it as oh my god this is horrible what the fuck am i gonna do don't do that because they're saying right now this is meant to end so whatever the fuck it is if you're married then you're probably going to be getting divorced if you have boyfriend girlfriend 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 boyfriend boyfriend whatever 
it's probably ending now because there's someone that's better aligned for you so don't hold on to it because the longer you hold on to it the worse the situation's gonna get and you don't want the whole shit to blow up in your face so don't do that okay because they're saying that whatever it is you've been trying to manifest whatever person it is they're giving it to you they're bringing it to you so make sure that you are open to receiving it and by being open it means you have to end whatever you're in okay so if you haven't ended it how the hell do you expect something else to come in so whatever you got going on you need to let that go because this new relationship is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance okay so make sure that the friends that you are sharing this information with are truly supportive of you and not uh, the jealous, envious, decept deceptive people that I'm talking about, okay? So be careful who you're sharing this with and who you're not sharing this with. And they're showing that you have a lot of indecision about this, about making this decision, about closing this door and moving forward, and you shouldn't have that because they're saying you have enough life experience to know what truly makes you happy, okay? So you, if you've been with this person for a long time, then you know yes i'm happy no i'm not happy but what they're showing me is that person is not your person whoever you're with right now is not the person for you so if you started recently dating someone and started something new then that's the person that spirit wants for you because you guys are better connected together you guys are more in alignment okay and you have to release uh your old patterns now when i say old patterns i mean like literally like your old life because I, I'm in the process of healing. So I'm in the in-between phase of still having all the hood shit inside of me, but then also having the spirituality side of me. And I'm trying to move towards peace. But you can't move towards peace if you're holding on to all the hood shit. If that makes sense for y'all. <laughs> so all of the toxicity, all of the negativity, all of the violence, all of those things... You have to release that part of you because that's no longer who you are. That's who you once was. And now you have to move into the peaceful part of you, the spiritual side of you, the loving part of you in order to have the life that you want to create. So I'm hoping that made sense because, uh, you know, I know sometimes shit comes out crazy. But they want you to stand tall and whatever happens, okay? You maintain your dignity. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about the situation. It doesn't matter what they feel is right or they think is right because it is not their life. It is not their journey. It is your journey. So don't get so caught up in it that you miss the bigger picture, all right? So make sure that you're taking the necessary steps and you're taking the time. So sometimes when you remove yourself from the immediate situation you'll be able to see things that you wouldn't have seen because you were so in the middle of shit. And uh, again, the envious and deceitful people you have in your life, that's primarily what that means for me is be careful who you're trusting with the information and what you're saying to people because there's someone that is not, they don't have your highest good at heart, okay? So if you're telling them all this and you're excited about your new beginning, they're wanting you to fail. They're wanting it to fall apart. So please be careful okay and make sure you do what you believe is right for you don't allow other people to make your decisions because they want you to approach this um like a child in a childlike manner um be curious don't approach it with fear like you're afraid of what's coming and oh my god i'm scared i'm gonna get hurt and this person's gonna do this and this person's gonna do that don't do that approach it with curiosity like oh this is exciting i meet this new person and they're sweet and we get to do this together come at it like that because you'll have a better outcome okay and you're not tainting it from the beginning of being fearful and just putting all this negative in shit into it now one of you whether it's you your ex whoever there's um there's consequences that they weren't aware of. So if you're breaking up or you're getting a divorce, they're realizing that their actions caused this to happen. Whatever they put you through, it's now clicking in their head because they're being reminded of you all the time. And whatever it was that happened, they're realizing that it wasn't better. So if they left you for somebody else or whatever combination of shit happened, they're understanding now that they fucked up and you were the best thing for them so 
I don't know if they're going to apologize to you because I don't see an apology coming in. But if they haven't expressed this to you, that's what's going on in their head. That that's what, how they feel and that's what they're thinking about. Okay, so make sure that you're dedicated to your path and create your life. Okay, envision what you want to happen. Don't be stressed out about what you don't want to happen and put your energy into that. Envision the life that you want to create. Like, oh, well, I want to be happy. I want to be living in this place in this type of house and have this type of job so start imagining that because right now you need to clear everything that's around you that's not serving you that's toxic for you you have to start clearing that energy you have to start clearing these people from your life okay so whatever it is that you haven't gotten rid of get rid of it because you're going to be successful in this they're showing me a lot of abundance and a lot of celebrations coming <sighs> sorry i'm out of breath so yeah, again, you're going to have a positive outcome, all right? So be happy and enjoy. Enjoy all the work that you've done. Enjoy all the work that you've put into this. Enjoy it all. And see that you truly are a beautiful being, okay? Don't feel like you're not good enough for this person that's coming towards you because you are. If you weren't, then spirit wouldn't put you guys together. <laughs> it's really that simple, okay? So whatever it is, honor yourself, honor your feminine energy. And that also goes for men because men have a harder time um, allowing their femininity, their feminine side to come out. And I'm not saying it in any other sense other than we have to maintain a balance of the masculine and the feminine energy within us. You can't have all masculine energy because then you're lacking. So in order for you to be completely balanced, you have to allow the emotions to flow. You have to allow that side of you to come out and show that. And don't be afraid. Do everything out of love. There's nothing to be afraid of. And know that you are good enough. Because if you were not good enough, then you wouldn't have been brought to the person. All right? So, yeah. Everything is unlimited. They're saying that blessings are coming to you. So once you release this toxic environment, this toxic energy, you're going to be very blessed. Okay, so... Like, oh my god, so many messages. So yeah, um, the card says, this is, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. So be easy on yourself, okay? Don't be so caught up on you're not good enough or I didn't do this or I don't have enough money or I don't have a stable life or whatever it is that you feel that you're lacking. Stop it. Because the material shit, the outside shit does not make the spiritual connection. Spirit makes these connections for a reason. So whatever you're lacking, it's more than likely your partner has and you guys bring balance to each other. So if you guys can balance each other out, then technically there is no lack. All right? So if you're feeling like you're not good enough for this person or you're not attractive enough or whatever it is that your insecurity is, let it go because they're showing it's a spiritual connection. So whatever it is that you have on the 3D, even your whole entire body, it doesn't matter because the connection is a spiritual connection. So it's your souls that are bounding, that are binding you guys. You guys are bound by your souls, not by anything physical. So let that shit go. And for some of you, you need to cry. And I'm going to say again, this is a lot of men that don't get in touch with the feminine energy. You have to be in touch with that. You have to release any pain because it cleanses your body. So don't be afraid of tears, okay? You can do it by yourself. You, nobody's saying you got to put on a show for every fucking body. You can go cry by yourself and you don't even have to tell anybody. But release that, okay? Because they're saying that you need love and you you are love. And you're capable of being loved. So believe that because spirit is bringing you love and they're trying to give you love. But you're being difficult. <laughs> so you're going to have time apart from your the... Uh, you're separated. Most people right now are separated or in the process of being separated from the person they were with to allow this to happen. And some of you, again, are being guided by spirit. Others of you have to get help from your friends. So be open-minded about the situation because it might not be everything you thought it was going to be. And it might not work out the way you were anticipating it was going to work out. Like maybe you thought something was done and over with and dead. 
And spirit's like, no, 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 we're not done. This isn't dead. This is happening. And it's what's happening. So spirit controls what's going to happen in your life. We have free will. We always have free will. But ultimately, if something is meant to happen for the greater good of humanity, that's what's going to happen. And if spirit has to raise hell and high water to make it happen, that's what's going to happen. So please be open-minded and again be open to receiving help so if you feel you need to reach out to your friends to make the situation happen then do that because it's showing me that some of you guys are crying over spilled milk like something from the past that happened that one of you hasn't let go of so it's keeping you in a place of contemplation so when some of you are just in a resting like just kind of resting and thinking and time's just going by while you sit in your head and you worry and you keep focusing on what has happened let it go and if you've been drinking stop drinking because that's um impairing your judgment and not allowing you to think clearly and make the appropriate decisions so yes um but they're saying again your wishes are going to be fulfilled but you need to face whatever it is that you're scared of so that demon in your head that keeps telling you you're not good enough this person's gonna only want you for this or only wants you for that let that go okay because if that's what somebody wanted by now, I don't know how long you've known this individual or you haven't, you would have seen something or you will. And if that's what it is, then you'll know and you'll be like, okay, well, that was fun. I'm walking away. But please keep an open mind and believe that you're good enough, okay? Because spirit is saying you're good enough. That was the first message. And the second one here is... Mm, mm, mm. Excuse me. Someone is very in their head, like in their head, like fucking obsession type of crazy in their head about this a love situation and following their dreams. So if you're in your head about a situation, if you are wanting to offer your love to somebody, but you're afraid of being rejected, understand that's the worst thing that can happen. Like worst possible case they don't want you they don't love you so yes your feelings might get hurt but at least you got it off your chest and you have an answer and you're able to have closure and move forward from the situation but what if they accept that love that you're offering and you're sitting here and driving yourself crazy constantly thinking and thinking and thinking and they're ready to accept your offer, but they're just waiting for you to make the offer. And you're sitting here wasting time and driving yourself crazy, afraid that they're not going to take it. And they're just like, okay, um, I'm waiting any day now. So why don't you focus on the positive side of that? That'll be a better way to think because they want you to follow your dreams. They want you to go after what you want. And if this is the person that love that you have, then you should go after that person because nine out of 10 times, they're not going to turn you away. And for some of you have uh, a passion for health, um, either working in the medical field, energet energetic healing, spiritual healing, something along those lines, that is your passion, that is your path, that is going to be your new journey. So follow that, okay? Whatever you feel in your heart that it, it ignites that flame in you, follow that, okay? Because that's what spirit wants you to do. Again, there's... <laughs> I got... You guys, oh my god, the eight of swords, you guys need to get out your heads. Like, really. You're, some of you are keeping yourself bound because you're afraid of negative consequences, anything bad that's going to happen. And let's say something does happen. You make a decision, you end up arguing, possibly even fighting, whatever happens. At the end of that, it's going to be over. Okay, so... You're keeping yourself stuck and trying to avoid something that may not be avoidable. Ultimately, you might have to just go through the shit to get past it. You can't avoid everything. As much as we would like to, it's not facts and it's not life. It's just sometimes you got to go through the shit in order to be done with the shit. Because they're saying to have strength. Your spirits are always with you. Your guides, they're always with you and they're always going to protect you. So if you feel like I'm not going to survive this situation... Unless it's some real toxic, abusive shit, then if it's like that, then please be smart about your decision. But if it's not that, you have the strength and you have the power to overcome this. Your guides right now are telling me that you're going to be successful and abundant after 
this happen. So stop keeping yourself bound because you're afraid of the drama that's going to pursue. All right. So if the drama comes, let the drama come. You don't have to entertain it. You do not have to entertain it. Okay, because again, they're showing me a new beginning. So you have to take action and it's time for you to stop being afraid and happily pursue the thing that you've wanted most in your life. Whether it's in your life, whether it's right now, whatever it is that you have been chasing after and you've been, it's time to do it, okay? Because that's what they keep saying. You need to go after it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And some of you are getting like um, epiphanies and little... Um, bursts of creativity and intuition that are coming towards you so stop worrying about what's going on again and just see the truth of the situation see things for what they are and accept it for what it is right now so if you guys aren't talking right now accept that if they are coming to apologize accept that if there's a chance of rejection accept that because when you accept it then you're able to deal with it and overcome it okay so i'm not saying that's the situation and that's how horrible it's going to be but if you're able to accept that that is a possibility and understand it and be okay with it, then you're not going to sit in it for mad long and be like, damn, I can't believe they said no. You'll be like, all right, you know, I knew this was a possible outcome and I can move forward. But at least you get it out of you. You don't want to sit with that for the rest of your fucking life. So again, there is someone that is coming towards you that is going to be very romantic and loving towards you. All right, but you have to be open to this and you have to be open to giving it. So they could be um, creative. They could do a lot of work with the arts, some type of music, whatever it is. But they are very romantic and they're going to be very loving and devoted to you. So just kind of chill out. And it doesn't have to be like an instant right now decision. But take a time out, relax, rest yourself, okay? Because sometimes some of you might need a vacation after this fucking, uh, what you call it, <laughs> this quarantine. <laughs> so if you're planning a vacation, then please take a vacation, take a time out to kind of get out of your head and this overthinking that you have going on right now because it's not serving your highest good. All right, and again, they keep saying to ask your friends, so... I don't know if you have friends, but I know the spirit is with you and they're trying to manifest what you want. So make sure you're very clear on what it is that you want and the person that you want, whatever it is, make sure you're clear on that. And trust, talk to people you truly trust. If you don't really trust them, then I wouldn't be telling them all of the details of your life. Keep that to yourself. And create a sacred space for yourself at home, um, like a little place where you can have an altar, where you can worship spirit, your ancestors, somewhere where you can have peace and quiet so you can think straight. And for some of you, it will be yoga or qigong or some type of meditative practice that you can do, even tai chi. So if you're working on any of those things, continue to work on those practices because that's what's going to help get the, um, the stagnant energy moving and help you to find some type of quiet in your mind so that you can think straight again. So you or this other individual are moved by the way that you look. They find you very beautiful and believe that you are an angel on earth. You were an angel that was sent to them. So whatever happened, it wasn't a you thing. It was a them thing. So take it how it resonates. So if you did it to them, then that's what it is and vice versa so whoever it was that screwed up understand it was on them it wasn't you because they have high thoughts about you they have high regard for you and um for some of you there you guys have shared many many lifetimes and spirit is your ancestors are trying to trying to get this person to remember that trying to get this person to see that you guys shared past lives so that way they can bring the prosperity and abundance and bring this to fruition for you so and again some of you may get pregnant throughout this process so if you don't want no babies cover yourself wrap it up whatever it is that y'all need to do get it together and here we are being patient in this again taking a rest taking a time out and allowing stuff to manifest so if you're the one that has been taking action it's time for you to just relax and allow stuff to come and if you're the one that's been terrified of fucking coming forward and saying anything take the action stop being scared okay because the longer you're afraid 
everything's going to stay on pause and then you might miss your opportunity because someone else was willing to take the shot and you didn't so it's really as simple as that so again trust divine timing spirit is working on this and live in the moment okay always be here always be now and look for signs because they're always going to give you signs and guidance so sometimes it's on facebook Sometimes it's music, it's a million and one fucking things. It could be a you running into an animal. Like when there's an animal sitting in the middle of the road when I'm trying to drive and I'm driving at a decent speed and I have to stop because they're just sitting there like you're not going to hit me. So what? So I, they know I'm going to stop. Look up the fucking animal because <laughs> more than likely there is a message that comes with that animal. Because again, they're saying money's on the way. So... Some of you might be getting new jobs, and some of you might be getting higher positions. Others of you have your own business going. But make sure you're doing everything out of love, because it's going to work out better for you. And someone needs to work on their throat chakra, because literally as I'm saying this, they're saying you need to apologize. So really, like, just apologize, and that will remove a lot of blocks and obstacles that you have right now so if you haven't apologized and you know you fucked up yeah you gotta swallow your pride to apologize it's not about i'm right you're wrong it's about okay i understand that this situation requires me to step up because i may have done a shitload of things that hurt you and i understand and just apologize it's not a that's it you say hey i'm sorry but genuinely mean it don't just fucking say it to say it like mean it and some of you really need to speak to a therapist because if you're not able to connect with your feminine side if you're not able to release emotions like a normal human and just cry and let it out you need to seek therapy and speak to someone so that they can help you okay because you're not going to get the answers by just watching people like me. And yeah, I can sit here and I can talk to you and I can advise you. But ultimately, you have to figure out what it is inside you that's triggering you. And since you and I are not having a one-on-one, -on -one, I cannot give you that information. So you need to see, seek therapy, seek a professional that's going to be able to provide you with this information and help you get to the bottom of this, okay? So if you're constantly watching readings and that shit, put the phone down. Don't do that to yourself. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Trust yourself because, again, spirit wants you to make the effort. So if I'm talking to the one that's been stuck in their head, that hasn't wanted to verbalize what they feel or apologize, spirit's telling you now you need to make the effort, okay? Because they're guiding you to do this and you are providing so much resistance that... Your whole life's going to end up blowing up in your face because you're being fucking difficult. So just cut it out. Let go of the pride. Let go of the ego so that you can move forward. Because they're saying if you open your heart, you will receive the highest energy. You will receive the love that you're looking for. And this is a purse. This is your soulmate. Okay, this is your person. Like I said, you guys have shared many past lives together. This is your person. And if this is really that, this type of love... For as long as you're alive in this lifetime, you're not going to experience that kind of love again. You're going to have love, I'm sure, but it will never compare. So if you really want this love, you're going to have to put the work in. So stop being scared of it because they're saying right now you're bored with whatever it is that you have. Like you're not content in your life with the situation and the way that it is. You're not content. You're constantly thinking about this individual and wanting that relationship and they're saying the only way you're going to get that relationship is by coming forth with the truth and being honest and speaking from your heart not being deceptive and envious and hostile and all of that shit that's not going to get you anywhere come and be genuine and be honest and be open allow your feelings to show because you are going to get everything you want because as long as you stay in your head about making this because they're showing me you're literally stuck in your head about making this offer of love and there's nothing to be afraid of because I look at it as if I shared many lifetimes with you. If you are my soulmate, if you are that person for me, then there is a very high likelihood that whatever the fuck has happened between us, there's nothing that's going to keep us apart because we've been together for many lifetimes. So why would this lifetime be any different? We come to learn lessons and go through these obstacles so that we learn our lessons. 
So whatever it was we needed to learn will have been learned. And that have to be learned before you guys can be together and be happy together. So try to look at it from a better perspective and don't be so down and so negative as to it's never going to happen because it is going to happen but you have to do your part in making it happen and be honest. Um, so those are your messages. I hope they resonated with you. I hope it gives you some type of advice and some form of help. Chakras that came out for you are the solar plexus and the heart chakra. Please work on those things. You'll be much happier afterwards. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I don't know when I'll be back on here. I'll try to be more frequent because I'm fucked up and I really can't move anywhere anyways. So maybe tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But have a good night.